What's up y'all, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm outside right now, I'm not in the garage. I'm pretty sure that's a sin, but whatever. To the point of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make 24 golden kind of style of beats and really how to get a solid drum bounce with a slower tempo. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so recently I came upon these guys known as Bull Sounds and I ended up going to their website and copying their amethyst bundle that they have here. So inside of here, they have a drum kit, a loop kit, a MIDI kit, an atmosphere bank, and a one-shot kit. And I'm just gonna say this is probably one of the best bundles that I've ever copped. Not just because of all the things that are included in here, but the price as well. The price of this entire bundle is only $47. I know drum kits that sell for $47. <laughs> but I do wanna share this with you guys, so I'm gonna put a link in my bio to where you guys can go cop this amethyst bundle. I don't know when they're gonna put their price back up, but I know that it is on sale right now. So I'm definitely suggesting it to all of y'all to go check it out. So I have this loop that I pulled up from the kit. But I thought that that would fit perfect with like the 24 golden kind of vibe. I set the tempo to 128, I just put it too below the original BPM. But I'm gonna come here, get one of my favorite 808s. Eight. We'd grab the south side perk. Uh, I like to shift this down one. And now I specifically chose a tiny hi-hat because I want something that's gonna be just like kind of subtle. I don't want something really long. And I always do this with my hi-hats here is I'll go here and then I'll put the shift up just a little bit. Don't blast it, just like put it like right there, right below the 50 or the 25% range. One thing that we do not know is what this plays in, but I'll go through every single note and I'll see what note matches with the loop. So you guys can do this with me here. See if I screw up. So I guess it's just playing on exactly C major. So I'll just do this. So this is our C major skill right here. If we play all these notes together. I was going through all the black notes here. Yeah, none of them match, but it plays in all of these here. What you can do now is I'm gonna take all of this, put that all the way to a eight bar loop and if we go to our 808, bada boom, we have all of this highlighted so we know where we can put our 808 and where we cannot put our 808 because that's going to be off tune. I already know for a fact that this is tuned on C just from using it. So this is what matches the best in my opinion. And this is just gonna be the first part of the drum pattern. This is it basically for the first part. Now we're gonna to start to go to our second part. And for the first part, I'm not gonna keep it on the MP3 808. I'm actually gonna clone this. I'm gonna to go to one of their own 808s inside of their kit. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna go into this one. Go and copy, paste, and now we're going to start to move on to our second drum pattern. So I'm going to get a, another hi hat. We're going to double step it for now, but we're going to do the we're going to change up the 808 pattern on the MP3 one. I'm going to switch up the root note of the 808. Cut self, you mother truck, are you not on cut self? Like I 
I said, we're changing up that hi-hat. So one thing I like to do when the tempo's slow like this is I'll add some pauses and some rolls. So boom, boom, ba, 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 ba. Hold right click. One of you guys taught me this actually. You told me a little shortcut. You can just hold right click and then go down the line. See how we like we add those pauses, but I think this is kind of like a cool little switch up with the drums, you know. this here just turning out the out knob on some of your drums can make a big difference so you know always mess around with the out knob and see like what new flows you can create and just a bunch of different stuff like tweak your perks and stuff like don't just grab it from the drum kit start tweaking them i want this open hat to be really subtle down a little bit let's go to rattle first off hmm song three tweet can add a little pop up right at the end since the tempo slow i'm gonna put the crash on every four beats oh, it's right. all right y'all so that wraps up the drum here let me just sample this out for you guys huh um, this is going to wrap up the drum pattern, but this is what we have so far for it. Second part. Anyways, all I have to do now is lay this out and then y'all can listen to the final product. All right, so we finished laying everything out, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, Thanks again so much for watching all the way to the end. And also remember, there's a link in my bio to where you guys can go check out the Amethyst Bundle drum kit. I don't know how long the deal's gonna be on for, so just keep that in mind. But anyways, that wraps it up for me. Thanks y'all so much for watching all the way to the end. I'm out.